Hi everyone. Okay. Today we are going to create a virtual machine. Actually, previously in our video we installed a VMware Workstation 10. And now we are going to create a new virtual machine on this VMware version 10 which is running right now as you can see. And so these are the needs that we are going to use on the creation of VMware. Of course, the program VMware and a uh, Windows 8.1 professional actually. I'll just use the 32-bit ISO professional. All right. And so let's try. First, we open the program virtual machine and it shows us this and then on uh, the icons to start the program here is a create a new virtual machine I'm going to click that and then I choose uh, to use the typical as recommended create a workstation 10 virtual machine in a few easy steps. Now I'm clicking next. Actually you can use a disk if you have it available and uh, another ISO as I've said ISO we're going to use that Windows 8 uh, professional 32-bit. Uh, Alright there you go. Then create next. It looks for the Windows product key but we can uh, skip this for a while and so let's just go ahead and it gives us this option you need to enter the Windows product key Windows will install without one but must be manually activated later would you like to continue? yes of course here it is as a default the virtual disk goes inside your documents but I would like to change that and I will go under my C drive and I have here a folder ready and the name of the disk would be Windows 8 now I make sure that whenever you uh, create a virtual machine you have enough space on the disk uh, location of your virtual disk I have here a free space of 145 gigabytes on my drive C this is just only practice and I can delete it later or continue for more projects uh, for video making and then I will click next in here 60 is recommended should I uh, go there huh all right and I would like to have my disk is in one piece single file not split I would like to have it in single file 60 probably this is just fine if I'm going to partition this later I can uh, partition it uh, maybe another half of it or uh, more than for the space of uh, the system and then I'm going to click next now here are the hardware uh, for this uh, virtual machine workstation power on this virtual machine after creation uh, let's just click that and say ok click finish and let's see what will happen now it's creating the uh, virtual disk well I would like to pause for a while in here while waiting for the creation and uh, before it creates a virtual machine I will be back well 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 now I'm back it's only uh, 30 seconds uh, delay now it's running there you go virtual machine is going to be installed in my hard drive this would be a second system within my 
hard drive. Now the installation process is going on. Okay, shall we watch uh, the installation process uh, without cut? Or I'm going to post again. Let's, just for the sake of observation, let's just watch and see what will happen. Now I'm installing another operating system inside my computer. And my computer consists of uh, uh, this specs uh, later on. Now 8.1, uh, 64 bit, and let's see what will happen. All right. Click next. Let's see. Huh. Now it's installing it. I should have done, uh, uh, how does it, custom uh, this preparation. So I have partition. But uh, maybe some other time. I would like to create supposedly a, I was thinking to create a another uh, partition for uh, image backup. But anyway, uh, that's fine. I can create later on. And then uh, I'm going to uh, see again if I could make a video capture of what I'm going to do. Now it's installing. Uh, after the installation, let's see if it works or not. Let's see. While it is being run, it looks like uh, the installation process is taking much of my resources. Uh, the computer is uh, going slow as I can see it and I can sense it okay uh, not that I'll go to the properties and let's see here it is uh, I have 10 gigabytes uh, memory it's being shared how much was taken a while ago it was uh, 2 gigabytes and if I'm going to see my uh, resources consumption let's see while waiting for that uh, memory uh, 3 being used 7 gigabytes or 6.9 gigabytes available hmm. and my CPU is it looks like uh, Utilization is 21% and a speed of uh, 3. Point, uh, something gigahertz. Huh. And this is space is really going, going, and uh, running hard 99%, 100%. How's <laughs> that? Huh. It's just uh, a process of observation how. Uh, VMware uh, consumption on a PC. All right. Let's see. Workstation VMware 10. It looks like uh, the installation process is faster than I thought. I thought so. I hope uh, this would uh, be done in a few minutes more and I just want to pause for a while and then uh, when it's finishing up I'll be back again well there you go I'm back and now Windows need to restart to continue installation let's see if uh, this uh, uh, VMware works uh, really all right now it's starting that's a quick installation of uh, Windows 8 hmm so here are the process as you can see if you go to home you can uh, you can install a ready running uh, or open a virtual machine ready running 
you can do also remote uh, uh, server connection and virtualized physical machine all right let's see let's go back to the uh, Windows uh, 8 all right still installing hmm all right Cont alt uh, control alt okay here it is when you're working within the virtual machine of the operating system uh, to get out you have to press control uh, alt and to get in is to press control G but you can just click inside and then there you go you are there already so as you can see it moves and uh, chains the control in here at the bottom hmm. well as it gets ready I'm going to pause for a while and be back again later all right it looks like the installation is now almost done and now it's getting ready to log in huh. you can get new apps from the store installing your apps let's see what will happen in here see well thank you for watching it looks like we are successful on our uh, installation process as you can see it's the V Windows 8 it's now uh, is starting and later on I'm going to uh, activate it and probably uh, from time to time I will run the virtual machine and do some testing uh, within well thank you very much for watching and shall I say Shalom